the Burn Handicap Chase will start off week four. Uh, we've got 11 runners in this one. The first of them coming through now. It's a two mile one furlong, not to 130. And at the top, we've got game winner for David Hooley, Gaffer, Craig Beckwith, Queenie Sapphire, David Robertson, Ballard, Tennessee, Jim Harris, and the Dragon Keeper, Josh Russell, and the Grey Bomber. Graham Clutterbuck, Forgotten Next, Martin Leedham, Wise Crack, Ardkin, Matt Cooper, Jazz Midget, David Robertson, Brockton Bay, Matt Cooper, and Tallahassee Nile for Jim Harrison. A field of 11. And away they go. Heading straight towards the first of the fences. The Grey, the Grey Bomber, he's going to lead them. 12 to take in this. And decent enough run to the first of them. And the Grey Bomber is in the lead by about four lengths. David Robertson pair second and third as they get to the first. And they're all safe now with that forgotten next. The early back marker. And it's the Grey Bomber who takes him up the Ascot straight with a lead of about three lengths. To Jazz Midget second and Queen is Sapphire third. Then Ballard Tennessee is fourth. With the Dragon Keeper on the inside of that one. And then Tallahassee Nile as they get over the second. Which they're all safely to the other side of. That'll be the final obstacle. Next time around, as they come past the stand, and uh, past the winning post, and uh, for a complete circuit of the track with the Grey Bomber in the lead. Jazz Midget is second, and the Dragon Keeper third, then Queenie Sapphire four, and Ballard Tennessee five, then Tennessee Nile, and Gaffer after that one, then Brockton Bay, Wisecrack, Ardcairn is next, and then the back two are oh, forgotten next, and finally game winner for David Hooley at the back, but it's the Grey Bomber for Graham Clutterbuck in the lead, leading by three lengths to Jazz Midget second. And the Dragon Keeper on the inside of Queenie Sapphire, the Jim Harris and horses running together. So to the Matt Cooper ones as they stream over to third and head down towards four of twelve. With the Grey Bomber leading over it. All safe never that one forgotten next and game winner still in the back two, although Brockton Bay is now being relegated into that position as the purple clad pair start to make a forward move again to this ditch. Which they all go nicely. If a game winner is starting to drop away, so well, there's something to miss with that one. But it's the Grey Bomber continuing to lead as they get over the sixth from Queenie Sapphire. Now a clear second. Ballard Tennessee's moved through into third. Jasmine on the inside of the Dragon Keeper there, four and five. Gap of two lengths then to Tallahassee Dial and Wise Crack Ardcairn with Gaffer in between them. And then Forgotten Next and Brockton Bay. Game winner appears to be tailing off. And looks like it's going to be pulled up, I think. Some uh, drift the top weight as they get to the seventh. And Gangman has indeed been pulled up at the back. But it's the Grey Bomber who's the leader as they get over the eighth. They come pretty thick and fast, those fences down the back there. And it's the Jazz Midget who's now gone on to take the lead as they get over this ditch. That was the ninth. Just three more to take then now. And Jazz Midget and the Grey Bomber disputing the lead from the Dragon Keeper. This is the third from home. Over that one they go. They all jumped it well. He won on the outside. The Dragon Keeper looks to be going exceptionally well. Queenie Sapphire is still there. Tallahassee, Nile and Broxham Bay are trying to run on. The two struggling have forgotten next. And Gaffer. But it's the Grey Bomber back in the lead again by three quarters of a length to Jazz Midget in second, Dragon Keeper third, Queenie Sapphire four, Tallahassee Nile now starting a run as they get over the second last fence and it's still the Grey Bomber who's kicked on again, the Grey Bomber by two coming down towards the final couple of furlongs, just one more fence to take and the Grey Bomber has been in the lead pretty much all the way, Jazz Midget, Tallahassee Nile now coming with a strong lucky run on the outside though as they get down on this final fence and Tallahassee Nile jumped in slowly but now it's the Dragon Keeper who comes through and the Dragon Keeper has taken it up inside the final furlong the Dragon Keeper in the lead, but he's not pulling away. He's holding on in the lead, though. Three quarters of an length. The Dragon Keeper, Jazz Midget, Dunhassi, not trying to close, but Dragon Keeper is going to take it. And Joshua sort of extends his lead at the top of that table to five, I think it is now. Had a good week last week and pulled away from Leon. And he'll be hoping to put daylight between his main rival and he started the week off in the right fashion. The Dragon Keeper for Joshua Sullivan takes it. Jazz Midget for David Robertson second. Tallahassee Nile for Jim Harrison was third. He also took fourth with Ballard Tennessee. And Wise Truck Ardcane for Matt Cooper finished in his favourite position, which apparently is fifth. <laughs>